So in Toronto, just this past year, there were 422 productions just in Toronto. That means that many, many, many of your favorite movies and TV shows are filmed right around where I live and probably right around where you live. So I'm going to do something that I've always wanted to do, which is tour filming locations for my favorite movies and shows that are not even like two hours away from where I live. And today I'm starting with the Umbrella Academy, just right over there. Say hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. <laughs> what is this, Home Alone? This is supposed to be Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy. So this was used to film like the little bank heist that they're saving from. And well, I guess that was the reveal of like Ben being an octopus person or something like that. Okay. A review. Okay, it's giving school girl, it's giving, let's go save the bank, guys. It's giving very much, let me tell you, I have a secret. No, I heard a rumor. Come on now. Very, I had a rumor. I actually did dress up as Allison once for Halloween. Smart, when smart. I had curlier hair. <laughs> so. Insert picture here. There we go. This is the spot. So, like, have you ever, like, been in the middle of filming in Hamilton? Just like streets closed off. No, Have you I've ever seen, seen it? I've seen like things closed down. I've seen like trailers. Around my schools where they shot like The Handmaid's Tale. It was like, I don't know which part of it. But like, so I've seen the stuff but I've never actually like seen anyone like in the city. Mm -hmm. I was here about it after. Like it's always after the fact. Like when I'm watching and I'm like, oh wait, this is here. Oh, okay. Yeah, because for me, because I was in, I lived in New Orleans, the only thing that I remember being shot there, at least that I witnessed, they used my sister's high school um, for the filming of the Disney Channel original movie, The Invisible Sister. <laughs> and it was just the outside of the high school because the inside of the high school, get this, the inside of the high school, they used a wider school. <laughs> Because my school, this is not my school, my sister's school was was black. <laughs> they didn't use anyone as an extra. <laughs> but it looked good on the outside, so they used that. You know what else they, I think they shot around here a little bit? They shot the Incredible Hulk. I don't, because we would have been like super young. Yeah. But I have a friend who remembers like going out and watching them like flip a car when we were super little. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. If you ever, if you ever want to watch the classic movie that is The Incredible Hulk, just remember. Which way? Which one? Like the really, not the really, like the one, the one before Mark Ruffalo took over. Oh, yeah. That, there are two before Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> the the really, I think the one like right before like the Avengers and all that stuff. Okay. That okay. One. Yeah. So if you ever watch that movie, that classic film. You can sit back and remember that it was filmed right here in my hometown. You're walking in the same street as Mark Ruffalo did at least 20 years ago. Not Mark Ruffalo, different person. Oh, you're right, yeah. I don't even know who that is. I feel like this place is like mid-gentrification. Something like that. <laughs> it's like, right. Like, I walked into a store once and I looked at a shirt and the shirt was like $200. And I was like, yeah. I wrote, I wrote a paper on that, not condoms, well, I didn't write a paper on condoms, but I wrote a paper on, like, all the changes in this area, because this is my hometown, but it's really not. <laughs> I just I didn't know that, so, who cares? You don't claim it. You know what? I do claim Hamilton. This is very boring, so if you want, like, someone to, like, attract you to Hamilton, ask literally anyone but me. Just don't hire you for the Hamilton tourism board, essentially. Yeah, so what do you do with Hamilton? I'm like, I just go to people's houses. But, like, there is stuff to do up here. You can go to Bayfront, you can go to, like, just walk, get a restaurant. There's a lot of cool, fun, just local things to do.
So here we are at the Umbrella Academy. That scene where they're carrying all those like um, carriages into the their house. So that he can uh, torture them and give them trauma. It's fun. <laughs> says Embassy Club name change mansion. Name change from what? Oh they give it they give it little wings. wings. I'll commit it looks like it says I'll commit ham and then suicide. Yes. I'll commit ham suicide. Alright so Hotel Obsidian is not far from here. All right. It's like across the street somewhere. So. All right, you keep an eye out. We'll go there. Sure. Yeah, I think this is it. Hotel Obsidian. City and I missed you, you slutty old dame. Oh, there's a, it was called the Hotel Oblivion also. So it's both. And I think they use, either they did use, okay, I know for the Hargreaves house, they did use a set for the inside. Yeah. And then for this one, I don't know if they use a set or they just use somewhere else, but it might be. I don't think so. It was very old looking. <laughs> I was thinking, just because it's thematic, mm -hmm. do you want a donut? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, busy today, huh? Tuesday special. Momoko donuts. Looks like a, I think it's an Asian donut place. The soft, chewy inside and a slightly Crispy outside, Glazed, reliable, simple. Chocolate's rich and sensual. Cherry filled, big upside, greatest potential for disappointment. In like the first couple of episodes, there's like a karaoke bar that was like right there. And then it was like a blue store. And like, but Vanya, before they transitioned, mm -hmm. was like looking in the mirror. It was kind of like this. It's kind of like looking in the mirror. I remember just like looking at it and seeing the reflection being like, I know exactly where they filmed it. <laughs> Netflix created a website where it's called Netflix in your neighborhood. And you can see like different Netflix original productions for like your city or like based on each show. So they show, they had one for this one. I don't remember what else was filmed here specifically, but I know they had like and with an E and a, yeah. yeah, partially. And they also filmed parts also in Ontario. There was something else that was filmed in like Cambridge, but yeah, it's just been like a bunch of different shows and movies. Is it the Princess Switch? Something was filmed in Cambridge. So yeah, you can just like go on the website and see like different things and there's probably like something nearby here. The places that we didn't go um, today would be like the stuff like when they were in Dallas. So that was all filmed on Ottawa Street. Ooh. Yeah. Like downtown, like out in the east side of town? Like yeah, way? yeah, yeah. You know what? I think my church is right around there. Ottawa Street. Yeah. Yeah, they filmed in Gage Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like right, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then that entire street was Dallas, and there was also like a cafe that they filmed like for five seconds, and it was in there, and that's also on the website. But yeah, you can see like everything. It gives you time to be in your city now. It's like, this is kind of cool. <laughs> but that's like the fun, the fun part about, about like, having things in your city you always get jump scared when like i was like oh i know that place hey, <laughs>
And then like if there's something slightly inaccurate, you can like beat them up for it. <laughs> um, there was a movie, another Netflix movie, that was filmed in New Orleans. And I think it was like when we first met, something like that. It started at Adam Devine. And they filmed partially in a, in a park in New Orleans, City Park. And then they also filmed at a different park, Armstrong Park, and they switched over. And I was just like, you can't do that. That's a different park. <laughs> you cannot trick me. You cannot. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like and comment what movie or TV show I should tour next. And make sure you subscribe to Be A Real One because I'm going to be doing a lot more. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.